When graphing data, we can end up with many different shapes to our line of best fit. Let's take a look at the most common ones. Usually in science, we'll plot our points, y versus x, then look for our relationship, which is often illustrated with a line of best fit. Remember, a line of best fit does not need to touch the points or split the points, but needs to be drawn either with a ruler if it's a straight line, or as a smooth curve if it's not perfectly straight. Our first type of graph would be of completely random points. Nowhere does it appear to be a place in which a line of best fit would be indicated. Everything looks really random. Or does it? Linear graphs have points which map out a pattern that would be characterized by a straight line. The relationship would be described as y being directly proportional to x. That is, as x increases, y increases by a constant factor. It often follows the algebraic equation of y equals mx plus b, where m is slope and b is the y-intercept. The line may slant upwards or downwards depending on the slope. The power curve shows points that are best represented by a curve that gradually rises up as you move left to right on the x-axis. And it continues to increase in steepness to the right, like a smooth check mark. The algebraic equation that represents this line of best fit is y equals ax squared plus b. We will show you how to straighten this curve uh, for data analysis by plotting y versus x squared values the next day. Root curves have points that are best represented by a curve that looks like a path of a ball being thrown left to right. The line rises quickly, then begins to flatten out. The algebraic equation that models this type of equation is y equals a root x. This line may be straightened by plotting y versus root x or x to the power of 1 half. The inverse graph, which has a line of best fit that looks like a steep ski hill. The line quickly drops downwards and then gradually flattens out near the bottom. The algebraic equation which best models this graph is y equals a times 1 over x. This graph can be straightened out by plotting y versus 1 over x or x to the power of negative 1. Lastly, we have inverse square. This graph also resembles a ski hill, but shows more of a steep beginning and a flatter end. Its standard form equation is y equals a times 1 over x squared. To straighten this line, you would plot y values versus x to the negative 1 half, or square root x. If it's still curved, it may be an inverse cubed graph, and you would have to plot y values versus the cubed root of x, and so on and so on. Please note that these are all general forms of these types of graphs and may appear steeper or more shallow, higher or lower, or shifted to the left or right, depending on the data you have collected and plotted. In the next lesson, we'll show you the technique of straightening a curved line to allow us to further analyze their data.